Hi everyone, today we are making thịt xá xíu. It's an influence from a Chinese dish called cha xiu, but it's very popular in Vietnam as well as other Asian countries. So let's begin. Helen's recipes. For the marinade, you're gonna need two cubes of red fermented bean curd. You can get them in a small jar like this at Chinese or Asian grocery store. Another ingredient that makes the char siu pork so flavorful and aromatic is the five spice powder. It's quite strong, so you just about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon depending on how powerful your five spice powder is. Mash up two cubes of the red fermented bean curd uh, with a tablespoon of the red sauce inside the jar. If you can't find the five spice powder and the red fermented bean curd, you can replace with a small package of the red pork seasoning mix like this. Two tablespoons of minced garlic, a tablespoon of mortals or mặt nha. You can also use honey or corn syrup. That would give it a very nice shiny look. Into the marinade, we also add a tablespoon each of cooking oil, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce and vegetable oil give it a good mix also add 2 tablespoons of sugar a teaspoon of sesame oil and a teaspoon of pepper I love using lean pork shoulder for this recipe because even though it's a lean cut there's still some fat in it that keep the pork moist and not too dry after roasting you can also use chicken or turkey or firm tofu steaks for the vegetarian version. Marinate the meat for 2-3 to three hours at least or better overnight in the fridge. Then stretch them out on a rack placed on top of a baking tray lined with aluminum foil or baking paper for easy cleaning later. Roast in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or about 400 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes and then uh, brush the marinade all over the cut of meat. Then turn them over and brush the other sides as well. Look at that shiny glaze, so beautiful. Roast for another 15 minutes and then turn on the oven to 250 degrees Celsius and roast for the last 10 minutes to get a little char on the edges of the meat. That's it, the meat is cooked just right, it's firm on the outside but still very moist and juicy from the inside. Wow, it's extremely flavorful. The remaining of the marinade can be turned into a very delicious sauce. Just add about half a cup of water to dilute it a little bit and bring to a boil. One way to serve thịt xá xíu is to make pho xíu. Place some flat rice noodles or bánh pho on top of some fresh greens. Then drizzle over some tasty sauce and top with the succulent cha xíu pork. You can garnish with some crispy fried shallots and chili jam. I love to add some Asian basils and blanched bean sprouts to the bowl as well. You can also serve thịt xá xíu with sticky rice to make soy xá xíu or put it in baguette to make bánh mì xá xíu. They are all amazing. And you know what else is amazing? All the delicious foods that you have cooked and took photo, uploaded on Instagram, Facebook and Google Plus with hashtag Helen Recipes. I'm so excited every time I see your new photos. They make me love what I do even more. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for watching. Bye bye.